Hi, I thought we'd get another video coming. Uh, for the first time, I've actually got to prove a head gasket with a Pico, um, and it, it proved the, the actual point. And I even actually picked where it went as well. So it's the first time customer turned around and said, "Look, I need a new clutch. I need the head gasket done if it's gone, uh, and a new timing chain." so I knew we were going to go and find out what it was so what we've done is I set the actual machine up which I'm going to show you but it's a three cylinder Corsa, uh, one litre, uh, it's full of water um, and it's it's been done before as well so I thought well is it behind the actual timing chain that's leaking or is it the actual um, so, I'm, so I'm starting to see the back doors of all of them I think so this is what we've actually got uh, on when I actually put the pulse sensor on and that's all it is, just a pulse sensor and I actually uh, set it up on number two injector because coil packs are a bit of a pig and um, the injector was the easiest thing to get to. So I'm going to show you how I actually got to the right cylinder uh, by working it out and um, actually some of the training I've been doing, this has just sealed it up completely for me. Uh, especially on pulse uh, analogies, I mean, to the course of Brandon Strackland, the amazing. Uh, I mean, this first started off with a guy called Steve Scott, might have heard of him. Remember him in a Hyundai, uh, his mum's car out the back, and he's just got a couple of wires, so he's just, no, sorry, he just took a um, spark plug out, put a transducer in there, and he could actually tell what this engine was doing. That was a wow for me, that was a big wow. So, this is where we're getting to now and as I say I'm moving further further forward with this and hopefully if I can help others out you could get to this without without too much I mean so this is what we got all right so let's uh, get the camera sorted out here uh, right as you can see right let's have a little look right as you can see we've got a three cylinder uh, set up here and uh, all I'm interested in is the three cylinders because obviously that's all I'm interested in. so you see this one here on the actual pressure all it does is it just it just picks up a pressure change that's it it's not picking up if it's 10 psi it's not picking up if it's 5 psi it's not picking up any of that all it's picking up is it's changed that's it okay if you get that into your head you're laughing so, as you can see, this is here. Now this is where I've got cylinder two uh, synced up to it. So I've started my sync there, and I've actually there got uh, 720 degrees, which is what we want, because there's a 720 degree cycle in the engine, but we're only interested in three. So, here it is, there's a pulse here, and then I've got a bigger pulse there, and then no pulse there and if I actually carry on you'll see it's the same again and I keep going and it's the same again so obviously it, there's got to be uh, the pattern which is the same so let's just bring this back here so we've got 720 degrees so I thought, right, okay, the firing order is uh, one, two, three, okay? So first I got it into my mind that this one was number one. Uh, sorry, number two. So the egg gasket must have been gone on number three. And then I thought about it. Hold on. If you think away an engine's working, it's on the injection cycle. So it... 
is it actually is it actually putting any pressure on number two? Uh, because if you think about it, the fuel's being fired in, the piston's coming down, so it's sucking it in. So something I learned on Brandon Strachan's course, where he turns around and says, if you've got the induction there, you've got to look at 180 degrees on the induction. Because remember, the, the, the fuel's going in and it's being pulled down, which means then number two is coming back up on the next 180 to make it go bang. So that was the biggest cracking point for me. Absolutely, uh, it's opened my whole eyes. And this is where I want to try and share with what I got out of it. So I stripped it down and uh, took it over to a, a friend of mine called James Goldstraw, Brace Engineering. I mean, he's about 45 minutes away, but if I can find a or uh, uh, some excuse to spend a few hours with him. He's, uh, he, he, I, I've got a great time for James. Uh, I'll put his actual link at the bottom. But I'm gonna show you the photograph, because I said to him, I said, look James, I want to know what cylinder's actually gone, because this is gonna put, s just clear up everything for me. So, can you tell me? So what he done is he skinned it down and what he's looking for is corrosion in the cylinder head. So what I'll show you, uh, so what he did for me is, here is the picture. I'll say I've only got pictures, but if you actually have a look, there's cylinder one. I think all that cylinder one it doesn't really matter because we're only interested in the middle one but if you have a look around the actual pistons and there you can see this is where the corrosion and all we done was take half a foul off very very little and that and I actually said it was cylinder two before we even got there I mean, this has just opened up a whole, a whole new world for me now of not stripping engines down and um, uh, saving time. I mean, at least I mean I did one with an EGR valve, which is one of the videos I've got on there. Um, uh, was it head gasket or was it EGR? And it was an EGR, so I could have taken that head gasket off, and same as on this one here, I could have actually. Uh, it might have been a timing chain uh, gasket which was leaking behind the water pump and taking the head off all right i would have fixed it because he's about to change that gasket as well but was it necessary did we really have to do it and um i'm hoping this this will actually hopefully help out um and hopefully my video editing is going to be a bit better as well because i've done a little bit of own work on that so let's see how we actually do and um, uh, yeah so okay we've got a before and after and this is your after so um, uh, this, this is the uh, obviously head back together again all back flowing running car runs lovely absolutely lovely so and this is what I did the same thing injector 2 with the pulse sensor and uh, this is the pattern we got so just, as I say look for anything that's different about it but this is what we got as far as I'm concerned they all look the same but if you don't think so let me know right so as you can see we're on zero degrees 720 there and I'll put it in the, the three cylinders and as you can see that one there remember number one number two number three and back to number one again and this is as i say they're all the same this one's probably a little bit higher but some it's gone in there could be something to do with the the water pump or um because obviously you've still got the water pump going down but this is more that could be what it is but we're not interested in that at all don't take yourself away from something that you don't really need to get involved in all you're looking for is a unity uh, wraps up 
up, up. And if you remember rightly, our other one went like that. And then this one went up. And then this one went back down again. And then this one went back down. So that is what it should look like. So um, I'm hoping that helps. At least then you can see the before and after, because that's what I like seeing. I like seeing the default, and I like seeing the when it's fixed, because it somehow it just clicks in my head, and I'm thinking, right, that's how it works. As I say, getting to know how the actual system works, I think that's seventy percent of the job done. Uh, all you got to do then is just look for the problem of what you actually know what you're looking for. So I hope that helps. Okay, just a quick update on the garage uh, sale. It looks like I found uh, a guy uh, who can take it another 20 years. Um, I think he's going through the. What I mean, he's certainly ambitious. Let's let's give it that one, and um, I hope he succeeds because he's definitely got the the gumption to do it. Um, now it's just down to solicitors and money and stuff like that um, and uh, then it makes me free which I'd like to make a few more videos learn how to do some video editing spend some time with the family also I mean that video I wrote about the business sale I'd just like to thank you lot for uh, just wow uh, it's, it was just nice the support um, I thought I was going to get slaughtered, I'm going to be honest with you, absolutely flaming sword. But it did, it, it, it done me proud to actually listen to people who were in the same situation I was. Um, and uh, in fact, actually, some people have come back and I, th I think they've got themselves in a bit of a, a twist with the alcohol as well. And uh, they've come back saying they're going to make a few changes, which it's got to be better, isn't it? I mean, it's it's it, it, it's it's got to be better for you, and it's better for for us and people around you. You don't really understand the people around you what they go through. Uh, but luckily for me, I had the support, and with that support, then I didn't let them down. But yeah, once again, I mean, thank you. That was. The first time I've ever done it in my life, so don't don't think I practiced it could I didn't. Um, but yeah, hopefully, as I say, I'll make a uh, video on the um, uh, when I go, and uh, might be a tear when I leave. I don't think so, but as I say, the future is looking bright. Okay, thank you, a big thank you.